then replication which is called eclipse phase they will insert their dna or rna into the host genome so during this replication phase do you get any do you have any drugs that act like a antiviral agents doctor definitely you have guanine analogs like acyclovir or pencyclovir they will prevent the insertion of the viral genome into the host genome and let it to get replicated that they will be stopping because they are the analogs of guanine acyclovir and pencyclovir but acyclovir you need to take almost 3 to 5 times per day 800 mg tablet tuck 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 you have to set up alarm and need to take very taxing job pencyclovir you can take 3 times a day demcyclovir you take 3 times a day valcyclovir people will have better compliance unlike acyclovir because it is only taken once a day is the advantage then gancyclovir why do you remember hiv may cmv retinitis comes so what is the drug of choice for cmv retinitis favorite question of the neat pg gancyclovir then herpes zoster shingles for that we use famcyclovir so these are all basically the guanine analogs is what need to be remembered then you have adenosine analogs vidaribine what is its mechanism it is a analog of adenosine then you have thymidine analogs like idoxuridine or trifluoridine they are the examples of thymidine analogs so if you look at the various antivirals how do you broadly classify them doctor those which inhibit the viral penetration and uncoating can you give me an example you have amatidine pulvizumab and uh, docazanol these are all called inhibitors of viral penetration and uncoating you have dna polymerase inhibitors like acyclovir and gancyclovir then you have a mrna inhibitors like ribavirin ribavirin is a classical example then release inhibitors like neuraminidase inhibitors and immunomodulators like interferons so these are the classical antiviral agents and how do they basically function so quickly summarize what are all called dna polymerase inhibitors doctor darshan shetty is asking sir will you teach for fmge students teaching is becoming a bad student actually i can become a bad student for anything nowadays i am sitting with my second son who is in his fourth class and studying biology with him whenever i am getting time or social studies with him they ask lot of questions at that age i was just thinking what happened as medical students we stopped asking questions so fmg or uh, all india entrance or usmle fundamentally concepts are same only examiners are different more or less question banks are same right so enjoy the session 650 topics please download you medico register with anatomy to medicine.com you can call the helpline they will help you to cruise through that last 15 years dnb aims last 15 years pgi and last 15 years all india entrance question bank 5000 5000 questions each doctor totally 20000 questions unique questions will be 12 or 13000 questions the moment you master them you are the pioneer no one will stop you from winning the entrance so in the last uh, many years we discussed all of them and uh, all that video library is available in both you medico app and also in anatomy to medicine.com that it will almost help you to revise everything but where will you get motivation to read every day that is my purpose to be with you evening 6 pm to 8 pm and remaining time whatever topic you feel uh, you want you need revision whenever you are answering the questions wrong you can just go pluck it up in the you medico app or anatomy to medicine.com and review that so dna polymerase inhibitors 
acyclovir, valcyclovir, gancyclovir, edifovir, blah, blah, blah. Then, one very interesting question asked in the entrance exam. I like to ask you as a question. Uh, you can uh, enter it, uh, your answer. Acyclovir resistant cases, which is the antiviral agent of choice? If you give me the correct answer, doctor, you are ready for need PG. Don't read pharmacology anymore. Please punch your answer. Darshan, Sudeev, Anisha, everyone. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Rahi, one big clap. Postcarnet is the one which is used. Excellent. Excellent. Dipali and uh, Mithun, everyone. Very good. Postcarnet. Why foscarnet is still effective even if the patient is acyclovir resistant? First of all, you should know why acyclovir resistance will develop. Basically, acyclovir, for it to act, it should get phosphorylated. Acyclovir, pencyclovir, gancyclovir. After it got monophosphorylated, and that phosphorylation is done by the viral kinase. It becomes diphosphorylated by the human kinase inside the cell. Then once more that becomes triphosphate once more by the human kinase. And after it became triphosphate, then it will be able to inhibit the viral DNA polymerase. So the virus will become intelligent and it knows that Ah, this bloody fellow is taking acyclovir, right? For the acyclovir to get inside, eh, it should first phosphorylate, no? For that, my uh, kinase is only required, no? Viral kinase. Let me not phosphorylate. So, the, and it will not phosphorylate acyclovir. Unless acyclovir is monophosphorylated, it cannot enter into the cell, which is infected with the virus. So, that is the reason. The, the resistance to acyclovir is because of the resistance of the viral kinase to phosphorylate it. So, if you look at postcarnet, postcarnet is already a triphosphate form. It does not require uh, um, any phosphorylation either by host kinase or by the viral kinase. Directly, it will go and inhibit viral DNA polymerase. That is the reason postcarnet is the one which is basically the drug of choice whenever a cyclovir resistance is there is what need to be remembered. So which drugs are called mRNA inhibitors? Ribavirin like drugs are called mRNA inhibitors. Then virus undergoes assembly where packaging happens. When packaging of the proteins is happening, the patient typically become viremic and that is the time where they become symptomatic is what need to be remembered. Ultimately, the virus explodes out of the cell and that lead to development of the breakdown of the cell and the patient is viremic and uh, symptomatic. So, neuraminidase inhibitors, how do they act doctor? They inhibit the release of the virus which is their main line of action. What are the examples of neuraminidase? Ozeltamavir, Janamavir, Paramavir. They are effective against both influenza A, Tamiflu, Tamil flu. You will remember, no? So that is the one which is neuraminidase inhibitor is what need to be remembered. Now, tell me that neat PG question about neuraminidase inhibitor. Favorite question. Which is that neuraminidase inhibitor which can be taken intranasally? Many times this question was asked in all India AIMS and all entrances. Zanamavir is intranasally taken whereas Oziltamavir is taken orally. Both of them are neuraminidase inhibitor. Both require renal function to be intact for them to get eliminated. Even with the acyclovir, even with the acyclovir, what is the challenge? Acyclovir also 
uh, basically requires yes a cyclovir also basically requires renal elimination and sometimes acyclovir is one of the toxicity is it can lead to the development of the tubular damage renal tubular damage is what you have to basically remember but zanamivir can lead to bronchospasm as its adverse effect 